Oatmeal is on my zero point list now, so I'm trying to utilize it a little bit more. So what I have here in my bowl, I have not cooked this yet. I have one half cup of Outrageous Quick One Minute Oats. I get that at the Dollar Tree and I really like it. Then I have two packets of Stevia, one splash of vanilla extract, and one cup of water. So I'm just gonna get that mixed up, pop it in the microwave, and get it cooked through. And then I'm gonna add some peanut butter to this today. I'm in the mood for like a peanut butter cup type of taste. So what I'm gonna do is add, this is two servings of Lily's chocolate chips. It just so happened to come up to a quarter cup, but I counted these out. So I have two servings of those, and then I'm gonna do a heaping tablespoon of the no sugar added Jif. I think that just beeped, by the way. All right, yeah, perfect. All right, let me get that dropped in. All right, I got my peanut butter in there. I'm probably gonna count that as a tablespoon and a half. I didn't wanna do a full two tablespoons because I'm still getting very used to this whole oatmeal being zero thing. You know, I'm used to counting that. So I kinda wanna ease into that. So I did a tablespoon and a half, that's how I'm gonna track it. And then I'm gonna let this chocolate and peanut butter melt into this oatmeal. And let me tell you guys, this is the way to do it if you're gonna eat oatmeal. I think we'll go with purple this morning. I was just setting up my diffuser. I've shown this to you before, but this is one of my favorite diffusers. I love the kind that throw, can you guys see that mist? It throws a lot of scent. The second I turn it on, I can smell it. So this morning, I am using strawberry. That's just what I feel like this morning. But I wanted to show you this same company that sent that one to me sent me another diffuser. I'll link the company below because I know for sure I'm gonna butcher the name, but there it is right there. Asakuki maybe, I'm not sure. But I will link it below. Um, these, these come from Amazon, of course, like everything else, because you know, you can get it really quickly. So they sent me this new one, I just took it all apart. So if you guys are anything like me, you like to have two diffusers going at once. Sometimes I even have three. So I'll do one right there in my entryway. Look at that pouring out, I just love that. I will link that one also. But anyway, I'd like to have one in the entryway for when people come in and then I'll do one in the bedroom and then I'll put another one somewhere in the house. Sometimes in the kitchen and I'll turn that other one down because that's adjustable. So I don't want to have competing scents, but I'll do lemon in the kitchen or cinnamon or something like that. And the house just smells so amazing. My brother always says, how do you get your house to smell so good? And this is how. So... This is the newest one they sent me. And this one is the same way in that it's on a timer. So I usually go the full 180 minutes and let it turn off while I'm gone. You can change the color, it throws the LED. This one has a little remote and they sent me a bunch of different scents. I will link these as well because I think it's extremely cool that they come with a dropper because that is one thing. I like to make a mess with the oil. So it looks like they sent me lavender, tea tree, eucalyptus, and peppermint. Now for me, this is good bedroom, 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 and probably bathroom, maybe kitchen if I do cinnamon nearby. So I kind of create like a holiday scent. I kind of enjoy doing that messing around with it. So I'll get this set up and show you what it looks like. But yeah, inexpensive. I'll link it below. I just love these. And when I run across things that I really like, I like to show them to my friends. Today I have a little Trader Joe's grocery haul. So this is all good stuff 
that I plan to eat. I popped in Trader Joe's today and picked up some kind of fill-in extras. Not things that I eat every single week, but just some special things with the holidays coming up. I want to try out some new options. So I picked up this Bambino pepperoni pizza. I've never had this before. Now, these are all almost all new items to me. So if you guys have tried any of these, let me know. I'd love your opinion. 280 calories for one pizza. There's mini, you get four mini pizzas in here. So one mini pizza is 10 points. So my thought was I would just pair that with a salad and that would be a dinner for me. Maybe add some broccoli on the side, something like that. Then I also grabbed this Sesame Crunch Chop Salad Kit. This is four points for one serving. There's three servings in one packet. Hundred and, oh, actually four servings in one. 130 calories per serving, but I always like these crunch salads. I don't know, to me, I just like working them into my daily routine because they're delicious and filling. I also picked up some of these traditional latkes. These are potato pancakes. So I make potato pancakes, but lately, you know, I haven't really been making mashed potatoes. So I thought I'd give these a try. Four points for two of them, 150 calories, and they look good. I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer. Now this I've had before, and I really, really liked it. Nine points for this butternut squash mac and cheese. There are two servings in one entire container. So it looks like it's about two cups. So now if you split it in half, which this is filling. So if you split it in half, that would be, I think, a really good lunch with maybe some cucumbers on the side for nine points. And then I picked up just a bag of lettuce because they didn't have any iceberg lettuce, so I thought this will do in a pinch. I got some light shredded three cheese blend. This is three points per serving, 80 calories. Serving is one ounce or a quarter cup. I love this cheese. My very favorite cheese, to be honest, is Cabot, but I'm having trouble finding the light version of it. So for me, a very close runner up is the light shredded Trader Joe's. I really enjoy it. Now I picked up a bunch of protein bars. For me, these Bear Bells, these are new to me. The only one that I've had is the cookies and cream. Now I did scan all these and they're either five or six points for me, but they're big, they're delicious. For me, they taste like a candy bar. I would not eat one of these for breakfast because honestly, it really, really does taste like a candy bar. This holiday one I thought sounded a little interesting. Caramel flavor. I don't know, I don't really know what's in it. It doesn't really give you description, but Holiday Crisp just sounded like, please pick me up and try me. I'm going to be delicious. So I did. I got some vegetable broth. I just like to have that on hand for, you know, when I'm making gravies or sauces or soups. You never know. Sometimes you need a little bit of flavor for zero points without water. You know, you don't want to add water to everything. Then I picked up these white cheddar corn puffs. These are kind of like pirate's booty. It's four points for two and a half cups. So that is a lot of bang for your chippy, crunchy uh, buck. So Kevin, I'm going to have to hide those from because I know he'll eat the heck out of those. Now I also got this cheesy seasoning blend. Have you guys ever had this? I am all the way up to six tablespoons and it's still giving me zero points. So what I'm thinking is I'll mix that in with like say a teaspoon of light butter and some almond milk and make myself a little bit of like a cheesy sauce and pour that over maybe some pasta. Doesn't that sound like a good idea? I'm gonna be trying that. So I will let you guys know how that works. Then I also got some Israeli couscous. This is five points for one serving. One serving is 190 calories. So one third cup dry, that's perfect. 
one third cup dry or even less than that, like even three or four tablespoons, which might be a third a cup actually. But if you cook that and throw that over your salad, it just really bulks it up and adds a little something to it. Then I also got my favorite salsa, this Trader Joe's salsa. I guess you say that authentica, I don't know, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's delicious. It tastes like restaurant salsa. It's zero points, 10 calories for two tablespoons, but it's really delicious. And then lastly, I picked up some peppermint hand wash that I'm gonna put over here in on my sink. Look, I have dishes in my sink. What a bum I am. But you know, it's been a really busy day showing property all day, so we'll get to that later. I'm gonna replace it with, so I bought this, still got a little sticky thing on it. I bought this at Costco, this Myers Clean Day Soap. It came with this version, which is the lavender, and then the one that's like a lemon, lemon basil, which I really did like, but I don't like the lavender at all. I, it smells just not good to me, and I like lavender. So anyway, that is my haul for today, and I will let you guys know how these things taste.